What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, here to do a buyer's guide for the Xbox One, as well as my opinions, the top games to get with this console. And in my opinion, the time is now to get an Xbox One. There has been no better time than right now, for quite a few reasons. One, Microsoft just announced that the Xbox One will be on sale for $299 starting in spring. And in my opinion, that's a great deal for a next-gen console. Also, when this console first released, they kind of forced you into getting the Kinect. Now you no longer have to get the Kinect bundle. You can get the console all by itself. They're doing tons of great uh, game editions as well as, you know, bigger hard drive editions, editions as well as consoles that are coming with the Elite controller. So if you're interested in buying the Xbox One, I think the time is now. Now, I really like my Xbox One regardless of being forced to buy a, a, a Connect with it or even the price if it's a little cheaper now. I have no complaints about the Xbox One. I'm really enjoying it. I really love the Xbox 360. It's definitely one of my top consoles of all time. So the Xbox One is definitely a great console. I definitely like the improvements and upgrades that they did to the Xbox Live menu. It's way better than when the console first launched, such as, you know, keeping track of not only your achievements, but your friend achievements and having a monthly contest of, you know, who has more achievements. It lets you as in depth uh, features and all of you knowing how long you play your games, how long your friends play your games. It kind of gives you a really good networking with your friends and kind of like, you know, a friendly competition. Who's getting more achievements? Who's playing the games longer? Who's doing this and who's doing that? I really appreciate it. Now, to get on to some of the features of the Xbox One, obviously, it comes with the controller. Like Unlike the PlayStation 4, you don't need multiple controllers for the Xbox One. Reason being, if your batteries die, you totally can just change your batteries or you can buy rechargeable batteries. So with this console, you don't really need multiple controllers unless you have friends over. Uh, but with that being said, that controller, in my opinion, was, doesn't live up to the hype of the Xbox 360 controller. And if you want an elite controller to game with, no pun intended, they definitely have the Xbox Elite controller. Now, I'm definitely not gonna recommend this as you know part of the buying guide of buying with the Xbox One. But if you're like a hardcore first person shooter uh, player and you want the top, top of the line experience to go with your Call of Duties, your Destiny, your Division, or any of those other first person shooters, the Xbox One definitely has the controller to provide that best experience. As you can see, it has the trigger buttons in the back, it has a customizable D-pad, as well as all analog sticks. It's really cool. Um, you don't have to buy that separately, but they do have Xbox One bundles that come with that controller if you're interested. But if you're definitely interested in buying an Xbox One, like I said, the time is now. Let's get on to the games that I feel that you should get if you do get an Xbox One. In my opinion, the Xbox 360 or Xbox consoles in general, including the Xbox One, I always feel sports games are a lot better on the Microsoft consoles than the PlayStation uh, consoles. I don't know, maybe it's the controller. Maybe, that just may be my opinion, but this is my buyer's guide. Um, so like always, the Xbox One definitely has great uh, console games such as X NBA 2K16, UFC 2, awesome games that if you're interested in sports games, these are the type of titles that the Xbox One offers. Great online with the Xbox Live. And like I said, I just think the sports games always play better on the Xbox One. But I'm not going to talk too much about sports games. Let's be honest here. Sports games are not selling consoles. What's selling these consoles right now are exclusives. And... Xbox One, in my opinion, has really good exclusives. Yes, you can play some of the exclusives on the PC, but if you're not a PC gamer and you're looking for a console, Xbox One has those exclusives, starting with games like Halo 5. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the best games of this generation on the Xbox One as well as the PlayStation 4. This is a system seller. If you're looking for a game just to get one game with your Xbox One, I definitely suggest Halo 5. Another game that's really good that is on the PC, but if you don't have a PC, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Just like the Wii U and the PlayStation 4, it does have its remasters and its HD upgrades. And this is the Gears of War upgrade HD remaster. It doesn't say it on the, on the game itself, but that's pretty much what it is. And it's a solid game. It looks really good. Online multiplayer is awesome. Uh, campaign is awesome as Gears of War on the Xbox One. 
That's another game you should definitely, you know, pick up if you're interested in buying an Xbox One. Another great game that's been out for years, but, you know, a lot of people hated on it when it first released. Mainly, it was like a fanboy thing, is Titanfall. Titanfall, another game that's released on the PC, but it's also released on the Xbox One. Great first-person shooter with mechs. Really cool graphics. I really enjoyed this game. Awesome game. Now, to get off the first-person shooters, obviously you see the Xbox One has its sports titles. It has its, sport, its uh, first-person shooters. Now, another great little game that's not too expensive that if you want to get one game and another cheap game to go to your Xbox One is Rare Replay. Now, this is awesome if you're like a, if you've been gaming for quite some time and you want to have a little nostalgia in your life. If you want to play some old-school Rare games such as Banjo and Kazooie, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark, excuse me, Battle Toads. This is definitely a game to get. It's $29.99, gives you 30 of all these awesome games. There's no bad games because they want to release a bad game on like a replay collection. They want to do that. So these are definitely 30 games for $30. Definitely awesome. I actually know a few people who want to buy an Xbox One strictly for this. It's it's actually that good. That's one, another thing that you may want to pick up if you're getting an Xbox One. And last but not least... The best game on the Xbox One right now is Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game is awesome. It is amazing. It's not on the PlayStation 4 right now. And if you need a reason to get your Xbox One, this is definitely a reason to get it. This game is awesome. The visuals are amazing. Awesome story. It doesn't have a multiplayer, but honestly, I could care less about the multiplayer. The story and the game itself was just that much worth it. it. Has a little bit of replay value if once you beat the campaign and the story, you can go back and 100% complete the game, do side missions, etc. But honestly, I love this game so much. Like I had, I beat it in four sessions. Two of the sessions were like six hours long. I really enjoyed the game. Um, definitely a system seller and if you're definitely interested in picking up an Xbox One other than PC this is the only place to get it as far as consoles but it's me Blake doing six doing a little buyer's guide like I said if you're if you're a PlayStation 4 guy and you like I want an Xbox One but I don't I don't I don't know if it's worth it here's some games that maybe persuade persuade you into getting the Xbox One or maybe got a Wii U and you want to you know get a more powerful console hey maybe you want to get an Xbox One I'm really enjoying it, as you see, it has really great sports titles, it has great first person shooters, it has other great, you know, rare replay games, you know, campaign story games, it has definitely the elite experience with the controller if you're into those first person shooters, I'm really enjoying it, as always people already know Xbox Live is by far the top uh, online service when it comes to whether it's the Wii U, the PlayStation 4, or the Xbox. It's not It's not even an opinion, it's kind of a fact. Sorry, don't hate me. <laughs> but it's me, Blake, doing six, doing an Xbox One buyer's guide. If you're interested in buying a console, what games to get, make sure to subscribe for future videos, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook, all at Blake316. Until next time, peace.